All right, Shalom Amaki, I'm out there. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught me this word. Why Shalom, I'm all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, you know, back at it with another lesson. GMS Drive to be saved, coming in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, as you brothers can see, um, this lesson shall be entitled, um, the greater thou art, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Okay, you know, it's just basically um, land backing off of the uh, the apostle, our uh, elder apostle Gabar's video. Um, let me make sure that's all. Um, you know, dealing with um, the cautionary tale. You know, it was two parts. Um, I just got done watching the part two. You know, and it, and it sparked me to do this lesson. It made me think about this scripture in Sirach, the third chapter. You know what I'm saying? Because that particular guy, you know what I'm saying, uh, that the apostle, you know, was inspired to do the lesson on, you know, he was in a top position. You know what I'm saying? And um, he, he wasn't humble. You know, if you watch the first cautionary tale, you know, the apostle Gabar explains that he heard apostle to hard tell him you need to be more humble or something in that nature you know what i'm saying so so that's what this truth is about man it's about being humble you know if you want to last you know in this truth and and you know finish to the end because that's what it's about man it's about not only coming into the truth but finishing it you know so if you want to last coming to the truth and you want to finish you got to be humble man you know no matter how high you are in uh rank and um you know how long you've been around <laughs> you know what i'm saying that doesn't matter man you you always got to be humble and serve your akyam you know serve your brothers man because that's what yahweh shai did to us okay he served us you know what i mean so um you know just this is gonna be a quick lesson just land land backing off the uh the cautionary tales um apostle gabar did you know um, so, Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. So, as you brothers can see, I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with Sirach, the third chapter, starting at the 17th verse. It says, My son, go on with thy business in meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. Right? So, go, go about your business in this truth, you know, in meekness, man. You know? Meaning to be humble, man. You know, don't, don't go about you know your business you know because this truth is our business you know us handling the word of the heavenly father that's our business okay speaking reading you know what i'm saying dealing with brothers that's our business you know it says go about thy business in meekness so be humble about it man you know it's another scripture in sirach it says let thy life be sincere you know so our whole life and everything we do, it's, it's got to be sincere and it's, it's got to be done with humbleness. You know what I'm saying? It goes on to say, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. Right. So you're going to be a beloved by Yahweh, by Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? If you handling your business right, you know, and you handle it, you handling it with meekness. All right. It says, that's the, verse 18. It says, the greater thou art. The more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Right. So the greater the greater you are, the more humble you are, man. You know? And who and who else showed the greatest example of that than our Lord Yahweh Shai, man? You know? You're talking about the, the only begotten son, the, the only first, you know. He was washing the disciples' feet, man. How how humble is that, man? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, Yahweh Shah is the ultimate example, man. You know? And then you got you got the brothers down here with us, man. You know? You notice brothers in high positions, you know, they they be the most dopest brothers, man. Cool as hell, man. You wouldn't even know that that brother is, uh, you know, second in command, first command, or whatnot. Leader of a camp. You wouldn't even know because that brother just cool as a motherfucker, man. You know, humble. You know what I'm saying? And I can speak for myself. It's, um, you know, 
meeting Apostle Ramla when Apostle Ramla came out here. Man, very humble apostle, man. You know what I'm saying? So that, that let's, let's just let you know, man, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Okay? And thou shalt, thou shalt find favor before the Lord, man. And that's what we want. We want favor, man. We want mercy. We want grace. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and thou shalt find favor before Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. All right? It says, many are in high place and, uh, and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. <clears throat> you see? It says, many are in high place and of renown. Okay, so many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Okay, so you could be in a high place all you want, in a, in a high place in society, and you know, you got everything going for yourself. <clears throat> but if you're not, <clears throat> you're not humble, if you're not meek, then you're not going to understand the mysteries of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So that, So that's why the Lord has, has given, you know, starting with our apostles on down giving us the secrets man why because we're meek we're humble you know that's who the lord deals with that's who the lord is going to give his word to look at moses man you know moses was the meekest man in israel man and read about moses and what what his lot was man he had a heavy lot man but he was the meekest man in israel it's <coughs> like it says, for the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Right, man. The power of the Lord, the power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah is great, and he is honored of the lowly, man. All right, so I just want to, you know, put them scriptures out there for you, brothers, man. You could, brothers, could keep reading down, down in the chapter, man. It's a real good chapter. But, you know, the point was made the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles that great millstone taught me this word. Wa shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom, my Stay up.